Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the news and pre-orders from Games Workshop and Forge World. A little bit of a slow week today on the Saturday the 12th of December. If you do like these videos and this content and you'd like to support the channel, um, please consider subscribing, joining as a member, joining as the Discord, which is this little icon here, or even... Uh, here the discord is free and we've now got a couple of hundred uh, members there who all share experiences and photos and uh, you know discuss all kinds of things and um, so it's a really great place to hang out and uh, interact with all of the the rest of the community uh, here on youtube and you'll very frequently find me there uh, after all of the live streams as always the best way to support the channel is by using this uh, element games affiliate link right here and the link is in the description of every video. That is the best way of supporting this channel and allows me to continue making the content I do and Christmas is no better time to use that link. It'll take you to here, uh, this web store where you'll get up to 25% off your Warhammer goodness. If you use the code in that description box, you'll also receive double the crystals. So it's a way of building up credit with the store that you can use in a future purchase and also supporting this channel. Let's jump on over to the community uh, website then, right here where it is snowing. It's been snowing for the past uh, week or so, and uh, they've uh, changed the theme uh, accordingly. Uh, so if we just go to view all news, and we go back about a week, which was I think like the 5th of uh, December, about here, there was a Black Library uh, Warhammer preview online, where they looked at uh, many different uh, products that are coming. Um, you've got the Siege of Terror Mortis, uh, so that'll be the uh, the next uh, book after Saturnine, and that will be coming out uh, next year. Uh, looks looks amazing. It's got the Titanicus um, symbol on. Uh, this one, I <laughs> I'm in a dilemma because that just looks beautiful. Um, but again, the front cover also looks absolutely fantastic. Um, these you're only going to get two and a half thousand. When will they learn, right, guys? We need five thousand or at least ten thousand of these. They they just, you know, it's odd because they want money. They're a business, but they don't want too much money. And yeah, it just disappoints me when they say, "Oh, you've only got two and a half thousand." Um, so snap them up while you can next year. Uh, it's just a fantastic uh, image there of uh, an Imperator class Titan with the void shields, all kinds of. Um, energy weapons just pinging off or being absorbed by the by the void shields there maybe even a few gatling blaster shots who knows i mean they don't exist in the 41st millennium anymore but um the siege of terror continues so a little bit more in depth with that an interview with guy haley um, he's been cranking out a load of books and uh, from what i have heard uh, from others uh, they are redoing the first two books dark imperium and dark imperium plague war um so yeah that's an interesting one uh and then uh there's going to be the swords of kalf a uriel ventris model uh, right here this is the collector's edition two thousand of them two thousand are going to be made and then you've got the uh an actual preview of the model itself um very very ultramarines i like the sword wish there was a helmeted version because i'd be all over that but uh i might just uh put a different helmet in there i might just uh, put a different head in there anyway um but they've done a lot of detail on there you know the stubble the the shading of the eyes it, i mean if we just have a little close-up but look at that you know it's just crazy isn't it that is it's amazing what they've done with the paint scheme of that and then we've got uh, a beckwin novel called penitent by dan abnett by none other than dan abnett this is going to be big I'm looking forward to this one and yes they also have a, a collector's edition uh, or special edition in this, this case but I uh, love the green you know the racing uh, the British racing green color I'm a big fan of that color and uh, yeah that just looks fantastic so yeah we, I mean this is fantastic we're getting a new Siege of Terra novel getting a Uriel Ventress novel and we're getting uh, a new Dan Abnett let's call it Eisenhorn uh, novel but uh, focus on Beckwin um, and then they're releasing uh, Pariah, which is a brand new edition, um, you know, with a new cover to match um, Penitent. So, if you've got a bit of a backlog for re if you've got a bit of a backlog uh, for reading, 
a pile of opportunities of uh, law and knowledge, then yeah, get cracking because there's going to be some good books in 2021. Then they had an interview with Nick Kime. Alpharius is getting his own uh, Primark novel, finally. That uh, collector's edition looks uh, fantastic. Again, two, two and a half thousand of them. If you like Alpharius at all, this book is going to be right up your street. Um, and then The Gate of Bones, a new uh, Dawn of Fire novel uh, with Andy Clark. Uh, looks like that's a Custodes there and some Sisters of Battle. And then uh, Liber or Liber, Xenologus or Logis. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Darius Hinks, you've got a new background book for all the aliens. This will be very interesting. I want to support this release as much as I possibly can um, because that is going to be incredible. Then you've got Git Slayer. I'm just starting to um, collect Git Slayer. I'm just starting to collect Gloom's Bike Git, so maybe this uh, isn't the novel for me, <laughs> but uh, that looks quite fun. And then uh, you've got Gazgul Thraka, Prophet of the War. Uh, I think that's an audio drama. And then uh, The End of Enlightenment, a Lumineth Realm Lords novel, finally. And The Book of Martyrs, um, you've got a couple of novelists here, including Phil Kelly, uh, Danny Ware and Alec Worley. And there you go. So a load of awesome looking books coming out next year. We are going to be spoiled for uh, the written word um, throughout 2021 and uh, looking forward to uh, a lot of reading in, in uh, the upcoming year. Then there was Underworlds and Imperial Heroes, this week's Black Library pre-orders. So um, I looked at the pre-orders last weekend on Saturday. We had the Dire Chasm, we had the Lone Wolves um, graphic novel, and then uh, look at the pin badges. They're up for pre-order today. And some normal badges, the 12 Tales of Christmas, and so on. There's a preview on the day after. There will be a preview of next week's pre-orders um, tomorrow. I'm doubtful that there will be any at all, um, because next weekend is obviously going to be uh, the, you know the 19th of December um, so uh, so if you pre-ordered anything you, you're then looking at the you know boxing day the 26th of December um, so uh, so this is all up today you've got the blood bowl uh, dice um, other sets a different dugout and a different um, pitch got a uh, new Necromunda house of artifice uh, for you got a new uh, Necromunda book, House of Artifice, along with um, Archaeotex and Neotex, uh, these futuristic uh, riders from House Fansar um, with uh, all kinds of uh, interesting technology. Uh, some more dice, a gang tactics card set, and then uh, a lovely collector's edition um, called Hellwinter Gate by Chris Raitt. Um, I do like Chris Raitt's uh, writing style. And then Adeptus Titanicus, we've got uh, the two Serastus Knights, the uh, Atrapos. Um, we'll have a look at those in a moment. They are a bit expensive. And then we've also got some merchandise up for pre-order. And then the release of White Dwarf, along with this uh, video of uh, from uh, Jacob Bugmanson. Um, nice, joyful uh, little video, that. Uh, worth watching. Then we've got a Spanners episode, uh, White Dwarf, Blood Bowl, Diachasm and Stolen Planes inside White Dwarf 459. This is uh, worth a little look because you've got yeah, Blood Bowl, Aeronautica, Necromunda and then uh, Underworlds. You've also got a nice feature of Gloomspike Gits and the uh, Ragnarok, um, so it might be worth me picking up actually, um, with some paint guides. Death Guard Rules Preview Part 1, so although the Codex isn't coming out this year as um, was hoped, uh, they... Games Workshop community, Warhammer, uh, Warhammer community are um, putting out these previews for the, the new uh, rules. So uh, that will whet your appetite for uh, the Death Guard when they come out, I'm hoping, January. How to get started with Warhammer Underworld's Diachasm, Underhive Informant, Building an Even Better Gang Stronghold. Discover the latest rules in Blood Bowl's new FAQ. More Death Guard, more Death Guard rules previews, the Deadly Pathogens. Meet the new Slanesh Hedonites. They're right here. So all of these. Uh, so so this new warband for Slanesh. Hellwinter Gate. Peek inside the novel's mega edition. Mega edition box set. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? I think it is all sold out, by the way, now. But um, yeah, if you're a Space Wolves fan, this is right up your street. You even get some dice in, in this uh, mega edition. More Death Guard 
rules previews, uh, this time in terms of discussing the resilient uh, Blood Bowl pitch side report. Get your game on Dark Tide Gameplay Premier and play Battle Sister. So this was a look at uh, Dark Tide, worth watching for this gameplay trailer. Um, it looks fantastic, it really captures the theme. Um, very similar to Vermintide, but uh, in the 40k, uh, but in the 41st millennium. Not so silent, the yeah, Atrapos is here. Um, so it can be used as a support banner to Titan based forces or component Knight household armies using the Doom of Moloch. And the kit also contains these uh, card terminals, something that you don't get in the uh, Lancers and the Atch runs and things, um, which was a bit disappointing. Oh, and also in the um, Porphyrins, for that matter. Uh, you have to buy the Porphyrin um, terminals themselves. Then you had uh, Advent Rumor Engine 24 Days Sneak Peeks. Um, we're getting there. There's a fair few little sneak peeks. I really like this uh, statue holding something up. That looks interesting. Uh, Shoot for the Moon. Death Guard Rules Preview, Contagions of Nurgle. Uh, this was interesting because uh, it pretty much uh, reduces uh, enemies' toughness as the battle goes on. It says it right here, Contagion. While well, an enemy unit is within Contagion uh, range, which, you know, battle round number is 4 plus, is 9 inches. Subtract 1 from the toughness characteristics of models. Um, so that's, yeah, crazy, you know. Death Guard were already very tough anyway, um, but this just reduces the the enemy down to, you know, well, Space Marines down to toughness three, um, and Imperial Guard down to two, so yeah, that makes them, I say, very strong. Broken Realms thicker than water, and then Diachasm build, paint, and play the new season of Warhammer Underworlds. So that's all the news. A fair amount of news to get through actually this week, uh, more than I I expected, um, mainly because we had another one of these. Uh, previews um the uh, black library preview let's jump on over to forge world and have a look at these knights they're advertised on the first uh, page here um we've got two pages and the other one is still of the uh zolkath um, the uh, zote for blood bowl if we click on new and um, pre-orders i haven't been the most pleased with forge world over the past uh, couple of months um just in terms of they haven't really released that much this year in my opinion, compared to, say, 2017, 2018. Um, they, yeah, I, I guess that's just the sign of the times. But also what they have released have, have has been, yeah, mediocre and, yeah, pretty expensive. Uh, and that's coming from a guy that uh, has quite a few Forge World kits. Um, but, yeah, this is another one of these um, strange decisions of... Uh, making the uh, Mechanicum Serastus Knights uh, in resin only and not plastic. Games Workshop haven't gone, they haven't gone all the way. Uh, they haven't fully fled, fully committed themselves to Adeptus Titanicus, which is a real disappointment actually, um, because they were on the right track. They they made the plastic versions of the Lancers and the Acherons and the Castigators and even the Porphyrians. Um, but for some reason, they dropped the ball and then they um, have made, well, both the um both these um which is a bit of a disappointment 32 pounds for just the magira or 32 pounds for the um styrix so you're looking at 64 pounds there um for four nights uh now you compare these to three uh, plastic ones which i think are about 20 pounds from gw um and it's a similar story with the Atrapos. It's £40, which is double the price of the the Lancers. In a way, people that have started the collection in plastic for Adeptus Titanicus, uh, if they want these new knights, are now being priced out of it um, by you know having to pay double um, for, for what they're used to, for the same size knights with arguably less posability. But that's my take on it. Uh, I'm sure they're lovely sculpts. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, detail on all the rivets and their... Um, like for like uh, compared to the big models but unfortunately i can't get my hands on a on an atrapus to do any kind of comparison because as you can see it's been out of stock it's been out of stock for a good good few months um and uh that's one of my main gripes with forge world right now is uh, they haven't released a lot and um they haven't got a lot in stock 
and the stuff that they have released haven't hasn't really met my expectations and i've got quite high expectations other than the lion of course and um, that was a fantastic uh, model that they released this year okay let's um stomp on over to uh, games workshop and have a look at all their pre-orders today if we click on on the first page uh, you've got uh, a nice advert for enter the house of artifice and um, so uh, the technological superior superiority of the vansar and the next page you've got the blood bowl accessories and then you've also got um, an advert for the the mega collection which i think that book is already sold out sold out within a few minutes so if we click on new and exclusive and we go to pre-orders we view all and we go high to low um and yeah hell winter gate limited edition 90 pounds sold out um there's only one and a half thousand copies again just make three thousand or make a stock number of five thousand copies uh you know um, there's a lot of people that are interested in that, uh, not only to use it as a book and all the rest of it, but uh, also just to keep it as a collector's edition. Some people even buy two um, and just keep one pristine. Um, uh, Underworld's Diachasm was up for pre-order last weekend. So were these uh, Warcry bands. Uh, this is sold out online. I think this came out today. The um, Legion pin badge is number two, £40. Pounds. You don't even get 10 there, so that's going to be more than £4 per uh, badge. comes in this little uh, case with a foam uh, and a magnetic uh, clasp, I, I guess. Moving down then, you've got the Necromunda House of Artifice. £28 here uh, for this hardback book. Um, slowly creeping up to 30 aren't they? Uh, but this book um, consists of 128 pages, so it is substantial. Um, but uh, there's that book. Then you've got the Skaven and Dwarf pitches, £28. Uh, you get the pitches in one box. Vansar Architects and Grav Cutters, uh, you've got £26 there for that uh, for that gang. Six of them, it seems. Uh, the e-publication of the book, um, the Grand Alliance Order Pack, I think these have just been um, pulled off the store. Uh, but I'm guessing that they were out la last week. Could be completely wrong though. They might have been out this week. Um, moving down, uh, I know that this uh, dice pack uh, was up for pre-order last weekend at least. The graphic novel and the Sentinels of Order were up uh, last weekend. Then you've got the Skaven Team car pack, which was up this weekend, £16. More dice, Sentinels of Order dice and the Harbingers dice, they were up last weekend. You've got a Dwarf Team card pack, £16, that's up for pre-order. And then um, the cloth pack was actually up last weekend, it seems. But you've got the Necromunda Vansar Gang Tactics card, second edition, £9.50 for those. And the Dwarf uh, Team Dice Pack, along with the House Artifice Dice uh, Set and the Skaven uh, Team Dice Pack. You've got a Koyo, or Ko a Koyo uh, Warhammer 40k Paint Your Own Space Marine badge. It's interesting. It's one of the first metal primaris I've seen, I think. Is it a badge or yeah, I think it's I think it might be a bit flat. Yeah, look, look how flat it is. <laughs> Squash primaris if you want one of those. Um put it under a Titan foot, I don't know. Seven ninety nine. And then also you can pre order the White Dwarf four five nine and a mystery faction pin badge. <laughs> Four ninety nine. You get one random pin badge, but the factions are so diverse that you know you could buy one of these, and um, yeah, you you may get Tau. I mean, <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't hate Tau. Don't worry. Um, yeah, and then you got a commemorative coin which was out last weekend as well. So a fair amount still that they uh, have uh, released uh, this weekend. Um, you know, a new gang. Um, not many novels though the badges and uh the mega uh edition of and the limited edition of the hell winter gate um so still a fair few but uh, it would have been nice to round off the year with with the death guard um i'm guessing that's what will be up for pre-order uh next year um they've already sort of said that there's been a delay I'm very intrigued to see what the um pre-order preview is tomorrow if there even is one this might be one of the first weeks in the past few years that we we haven't had a, a pre-order article on the uh, community site 
Um, still a lot to release from Forge World, still plenty of uh, Primaris releases, and we've still got a few more Necron releases. Um, so, uh, yeah, I do think Games Workshop are behind in production and in catching up. I've ordered a few things from other places, uh, and Games Workshop are having a real issue just trying to stock what they've got, let alone keeping up with uh, the pre-orders. And uh, I'm guessing Forge World are in a similar boat for many reasons for what's happening at the moment. They may... Uh, both areas may have uh, shafts. Both areas may have um, staff shortages due to what's going on, and also um, distance restrictions. And uh, so, I hope you manage to get uh, most of your miniatures to keep you occupied over Christmas. And we can crack on with the building and painting uh, backlog together, because as I've said in many of my live streams, I will be live streaming all throughout Christmas, um, so you can just join me. I won't be talking as much as I do in, in these videos or the, the shorter three hour um, live streams, but uh, I'll definitely be there with you. Then we can work on our hobby projects together. What do you guys think of all of the pre-orders today? Uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions down below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.